Hello, welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B. Super happy to have you all with us today. Let's take a couple of big sips and smacks to get this one started off right because this is a great video. Ah, let's take a second one just to celebrate. As you guys know, I have been grinding out long tooth practically endlessly. I just rolled into rank 24 of the long tooth challenge. All I have to do is get through rank 24 and 25, and then I can call it good on Longtooth and head out to other planets to shoot other content for you guys. But part of the reason I've been doing this is not just for the heck of it. It's because these Codex rewards on Longtooth are so amazing because these ranks are so hard to get through. You have to cycle so much ped in order to get through these higher levels. And some of the skill rewards are actually pretty rare rewards. So great opportunities all around when it comes to the summer migration codex and in doing so i've been trying desperately to hit level 55 evader to unlock quickness so guys without further ado let's see if we can make this happen if we take a look at my professions we see that my evader profession level is at 54.9349 so, 50, level 54, and I am 93.49% of the way through the level. So, I've got less than 7% left to go. I've got 6.51% of a level left. So, let's see what we can make happen. Let's pull this up here where we can see it. Let me be sure we got a good shot of it. Yep, everybody can see it good. Move it over just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And now we're going to open Codex. We're going to pull Codex over here. And claim reward. So for 23, rank 23, because I just rolled into 24. For rank 23, the reward is 40.62 ped. So let's take a quick look to be sure. Yep, we're going to go with Courage. And let's do it. Let's see if this puts us over the top. Let's see if this hits level 55 to unlock quickness for us, guys. Bam! You've gained 97.8629 courage. So think of that. 40 ped worth of courage only got me 97 points. That's about 2.5 points per ped. You have gained 1.0000 quickness. Congratulations, you have acquired a new skill, Quickness. Heck to the yes. It is about freaking time. In the words of the immortal disturbed, now we can get down with the Quickness. I am pretty sure that's how the song goes. Nobody correct me. Don't double check that. It might be Sickness. Either way, totally sick. We have finally unlocked Quickness. So this has been an exceedingly, exceedingly long journey. And I want to thank everybody who has helped to support me over the years, whether you've supported me in-game, emotionally, through the society, just being a friend, EarnPed.com, the YouTube channel, any of it. You guys have made this entire journey amazing in a way I cannot possibly describe to most people. I tell people in real life all the time, about my friends in game. About how some of the best friends that I have are people who play a video game with me that I have never met in real life. And I tell them about all the support that you guys give me and how important this community is to me. And it's really hard for me to properly explain it because it is such a big part of my life. You guys are so important to me and your support means so much to me. And I really, truly greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart so thank you guys in every conceivable way thank every single person who's watched the youtube channel every single person who has subscribed or hit that bell icon every single person who has hit like on a video much less every video to help me combat the trolls to help us get these videos in front of more people who YouTube already knows are interested in PC gaming, real cash economy gaming, and MMOs. 
for all the people who have seen those videos as a result of that exposure and then watched the channel and then downloaded the game and started playing and sent me those messages saying, hey, thank you, your video was the first time I ever heard of Entropia. Now I'm on my journey. I, I was just at Camp Icarus and I'm at North Swamp Camp. I'm heading to Twin Peaks. To every single player, every single viewer, every single EarnPed.com user, every single Stevie out there, thank you guys so much. I spent those first six months at Zykeon just dying over and over and over and over endlessly. All I can do is estimate it. I don't know how many times I actually died at Zykeon in that six month period, but my estimate is close to a quarter of a million times. And at the time, I was free to play. At the time, I was researching the game, trying to learn as much as I could. And there was very little in the way of educational content out there that helped you play smarter, not harder. The game was incredibly frustrating. And little did I know back then that here at 8 o'clock p.m. on July 22nd, 2023, after about five grueling years of work, we would finally accomplish this. We would finally unlock quickness. So thank you guys. Now, that said, I want to let you guys know, I've said this in previous videos, I've been doing a ton of research. I've done hours and hours and hours and hours worth of research on different planets inside Entropia because I am making a playlist for each planet that is going to cover some of the best content, the best opportunities, the best ways to play on the best planets. That way, regardless of what your gameplay style is, you guys can take advantage of the best opportunities, stay up to date, and so we can really showcase all the great things the Planet Partners have been doing lately. Because the Planet Partners have really started stepping up to the plate. But I am also working on a playlist that is going to be the ultimate new player guide for Entropia. And this is a huge project, a huge undertaking. It's already taken a lot of effort and a lot of time, and I haven't even started making the videos yet. And I really think it's going to be a game changer, not just for new players who are getting ready to start, or who have recently started playing, but players who start in the future, and even players who have already played for many, many years. I think this is going to be a total game changer that is going to make Entropia much less frustrating for people who are just starting out, just trying to get used to the game. And I really want to do that because I want to continue to provide really, really super helpful content to you guys to help continue make this a better, better game, better, better community, better, better economy. I want to continue to help improve, continue to share my hobby and my passion with the people that also consider this their hobby and their passion. And I really want to thank you guys. So luckily, now that I've done this, I'm going to try and bang out ranks 24 and 25 of Codex just to finalize the amazing skill rewards from Longtooth. And then I'm going to take a much-needed break and head out into the universe to start banging out this content on other planets for you guys. And I'm going to relax, and I'm going to chill, and after this long, hard effort, I am going to take a much-needed break, and I'm going to immediately focus on trying to unlock intuition at level 80. <laughs> no, guys, I'm not joking. I'm really not. Um, this is why you've seen me using Mind Force lately in so many of my videos. I got to talking to Michael Stewart the other day, who is actually, I think he just hit level 72 VSE. And he is really having a hard time with the skilling because of how hard it is to skill VSE at the higher levels. And he very likely will be the last person to ever unlock Intuition through vehicle repair skilling. Now, I do fully intend to do more vehicle repair skilling. In fact, now that I've unlocked Quickness, I might specifically go to space after I finish Codex and spend a couple of days in space doing nothing but flying a mothership and repair skilling to build my Quickness up as quickly as possible. But I will actually probably be unlocking Intuition the way most people do it these days, which is through Mind Force. And we'll cover why that is in later videos. But from a sheer cost-benefit analysis and a sheer time constraint, it looks like it will be 
much easier, much faster for me to unlock intuition via mind force than it would be to do it by trying to do it through vehicle repair skilling. Mike, on the other hand, he's close enough that the cost benefit analysis, he would really be better off sticking with what he's doing and just finishing it out. He is really committed to it, and I'm really proud of him for doing so because, man, is that cat OCD in a way that very few people are OCD. He was the only other person that was at Zykeon with me back in the day, and there were some days that I was like, man, I think this guy likes grinding out defense skills more than I do. But I wanted to say that because it's a big, big statement to him that he's made it as far as he has skilling VSE, that he's been this committed to it, gotten this far, and he very well may be the last player for a very, very, very long time who will unlock intuition strictly through re repair skilling. I am probably going to have to go the more traditional route of using Mind Force. However, my goal, or one of my goals now, is to get intuition unlocked as quickly as possible. As I've told you guys in previous videos, I have tried to narrow the scope of the things I want to do in-game, the goals I have in-game, my in-game plans, stuff like that. And getting to level 55 to unlock quickness, man, this, this was a big one. Intuition can wait if it really has to, because you're talking about something that I believe is only about a 3% contribution to your defense profession. It might only be 2%, but I think it's 3%. But quickness is a 9% contribution to our defense professions. So whenever we get quickness skills, 9% of those quickness skills we acquire are growing our defense professions. Our evader, our dodger, our jammer, they're going into our skill piggy bank that we talked about. And it's really a big deal at the level that I'm at, as hard as it was to do this, I have redeemed hundreds of of PED, of TT value, of skills from Longtooth Codex, trying to do what we just did. So to have a new skill that will grow quickly at the beginning, that is a 9% contribution to the skill piggy bank, that is a big, big deal and will help me meet a lot of those other end game goals that I have that I want to reach by the end of 2023. So a big, big shout out to everybody who has helped support me. Thank you guys so much. This video is more for you than for me. I'm glad we were able to do it, and I'm glad we were able to get it on video to preserve this forever, to, to kind of take this as a celebration lap for all the work that's gone into it. And when I say that, I mean the work of you guys supporting me as well. It really, truly means a tremendous amount to me. So guys, I've got a lot of stuff planned for y'all, a lot of great content planned. There are so many amazing opportunities right now in game in July of 2023 that I told somebody the other day, I said, you know, I, I need to be on every single planet at the same time. I can't do it. It's not possible. There's so many good opportunities. I have to look at them and go, okay, which one really best suits my end game goals? Which opportunity will make me the most money? Which opportunity is the most attractive to me based off my style of gameplay? And that's why I love the fact that all the Planet Partners are more or less stepping up in unison to give us all this great content, all these great opportunities. And now if we just had one specific Planet Partner who would add Codex, bare minimum, to his planet, then we would really be off to the races. But all the other Planet Partners, Cyrene, Arcadia, Monria, Taloon, DSEC9, Next Island, man, they are just banging it out of the park. And we're really coming to a point where we have to look at our end game goals and our end game goals and say, which of these opportunities is best given my interest, my style of gameplay, the things that matter to me. So I'm really, really excited. There's a lot of good stuff coming down the pipe. And like I said, as soon as I bang out these last two levels of Codex, we're going to head off and we're going to start exploring some of those. So again, just a big, deep, heartfelt thank you to everybody who has supported us and continues to support us. That's why it makes such an impact when you guys hit that like button on every single video. When every single viewer subscribes and hits the bell icon. Plus, in addition, like I said, it just gets our exposure to more people that are interested in this type of a game. And we're getting more and more messages that it's having an impact. We get messages every single week now from people that are seeing our videos because you guys are hitting those buttons and they're being drawn to the game. And you guys deserve to know that you're making that kind of an impact. So guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. Sip, sip, smack, smack. 
We really appreciate it. Head over to EarnPed.com because when you earn, we earn. It's by far the best way you guys can help to support us. Just use the links on EarnPed.com to go to Hideout.tv. Hideout will automatically add us as a redemption option for your Hideout points. Thank you guys so, so much. Sip, sip, smack, smack. Y'all know the rest. Take care, Stevies.